Tom Wolf, and welcome to 50 Hard Bop Blues Licks You Must Know. In the 1960s, we saw a great change and revolution in the jazz tradition. Rooted in the bebop tradition from the 40s and 50s, the 1960s began to introduce other elements into the jazz tradition, such as gospel and a very heavy emphasis on the blues. This became known as the hard bop tradition. Guitar players such as Wes Montgomery, Kenny Burrell, Herb Ellis, Grant Green, many more all began to demonstrate these fabulous qualities in the music. This collection of licks has been designed in a way to pay homage to some of our great musicians, especially Wes Montgomery in the style of the way he would organize his solo. So you're introduced to basic concepts of melodic single note playing, and then we'll take a look at how to use octaves the way Wes did and the way many guitar players like George Benson do now. Finally then, we take a look at the alternate changes in blues that has become very common for the bebop player, and those are the blues harmonic progressions written by Charlie Parker, the great alto saxophonist from the bebop period. To begin the series, we'll take a look at some very basic licks in the blues, but then we'll begin looking at standard ornamentations and other phrases that are necessary for the improvising guitarist. For example, we'll take a look at the major seventh arpeggio ornamentation. We'll work on playing over the 2-5-1 chord progression in the blues. We'll also work on bluesy turnarounds in the 2-5-1 progression. And you can't forget about using the octave licks a la Wes. We learn melodic improvisation, but we also learn how to use rhythmic intensity to build a solo. While you improvise, you have to also know how to comp for yourself. We'll also take a look at how to build a solo by using a pedal point. We'll work on some challenging licks that combine multiple techniques that we will learn in this series too. We'll also work on the Parker Blues that emphasizes the guide tones or the color tones of the chords. We'll also take a look at the middle four bars of the Parker Blues and learn how to sequence. We'll also learn how to harmonize a melody so that when you use it in the final part of your phrase, it will cadence nicely and create a great musical experience. For each lick, I'll perform it and demonstrate it over the backing tracks. And then I'll also break it down and explain it on how it was created, how it was composed, and how it works within the harmonic structure of the blues. Every lick is notated in standard notation, guitar pro, tab, power tab, and we'll also include all of the backing tracks with this series. So let's go grab our guitars and let's explore together this great music of the hard bop blues era. <laughs> 